Hello guys, welcome to Shaji Technical. Recently I have posted a video on flashing Android 7.1 Nougat on Lenovo K3 Note. So if you did not see the video yet then watch it, link is in description. Today I am going to show latest Vibes A1 ROM version 3.6. So without wasting time let's see how to flash it. So for flashing this ROM you will need only two files. Actually you will need only one file, second one is optional. First the ROM file itself and second is a notification panel. So download it from given links, links are in description and place it to your external storage. I have placed it in this pen drive so I am connecting, so connecting it to mobile through OTG. Now boot into recovery. Now click on wipe, advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache, system, cache, data and internal storage and swipe to wipe. Internal storage is optional but it's recommended. Make sure to backup data before wiping. If you don't know how to backup and restore your data then see my previous videos, links are in description. Now click on install, select storage. If you place the file in external SD card then select micro SD card. I have placed the files in pen drive so I am selecting USB OTG. Ok. Now locate your zip files. This is our ROM zip file, wipes a1 3.6.zip, swipe to flash. Flashing process will take few minutes so be patient. If you don't know how to flash the latest custom recovery on Lenovo K3 Note then see my previous videos, links are in description. Installation process will take up to 20 minutes so don't panic. Our device is automatically rebooted. First boot will take up to few minutes so be patient. This ROM is free rooted and GApps are free installed. So we don't need to flash SuperSU or GApps separately. So our ROM is booted up. We have to complete a simple first boot setup. So this is multi language ROM. Select your language from here. Click next. So this is our wipes A1 3.6. We have successfully flashed wipe A1 3.6. Now we have to flash different notification panel. So go to your file manager. Locate your zip file. Select it click on more and extract ok so now you can flash this notification panels by TWRP recovery just boot into recovery and flash it and flash it like other zips this is nothing much it's it will change your notification panel only so for pros, cons, performance, gaming performance of this room, I will upload a separate video. So stay tuned to our channel. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you have any queries or questions, then comment below. And don't forget to subscribe our channel.